Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about something very important. But before we do that. I want to say thank you all for your wonderful messages and comments and concerns. I had another systems issue here in Cartoon World. And now I'm back up and running again. I do want to get to those comments though. Because your kindness and love means a lot to me. Also thank you for the new Patreon members. That are donating on Patreon. I see you. And those that are still giving and donating. I see you too. You see. And we've talked about it before. There are a lot of great channels out there that seem to stall. You know. Though money isn't the most important thing in life. God is. And that's actually something I want to talk about in another video. How screwed up our society and relationships have become. However, money does help a great many of the content creators keep up making more content. And there have been a lot of content creators that have fallen off. Simply because they can't give the same time they once did to their channel. And then. They just go away never to be seen again. Because as I've said before. For a great many of us. Though we weren't making a lot of money here on YouTube. It was a decent side income. That a great many of us put right back into doing more YouTube. But we could see the bigger picture. If we were able to grow and do more and more and more. Maybe one day. We could do this full time. And the truth is. If they. Whoever they is or are didn't throw a monkey wrench into how channels like this grow or don't grow. You would see some of your favorite content creators being able to share their message far and wide. But as it stands, those of us that remain do so because we care. We care about our message. And we care about making sure what happened to us doesn't happen to anyone else. The thing is, we've seen groups and movements that rhyme with pessimist. They were given tons and tons of money. Why? So they could work day and night spreading their message. A message that has sown division amongst homes and between men and women. But when those want to sow love and help. And a real understanding of what really is going on. They try to do everything they can. To make sure that such a person. Can't get their hands on any money. Because they know if such people can work day and night. Spreading this message of what true narcissism and narcissistic abuse is about. And how to love one another. They know their message of narcissistic division will start to fall apart. So I say all of that to say. For those that are donating. Even if it's a small amount. You are appreciated and I deeply appreciate your donation. It means a lot to me. It tells me that you value my work. And that you would like to see me move forward and do more. And we will move forward. Now I do want to clear up. The systems issues I had were just that. Nothing more. It wasn't the powers that be. But when they happen. It still takes a bit of steam out of one's sails. And slows the momentum. But that's our story. The story of the narcissistic abuse survivor. Of standing back up and fighting on in life. Which we will talk more about that in upcoming videos. But today. I wanted to talk about this woman right here. Bianca Ellis. A couple of weeks back. She wandered around a grocery store with a huge pointy object in her hand. As if she was this guy. She then followed behind other shoppers until they ended up walking outside of the grocery store. And she ended up using this pointy object. To stick a young boy that was helpless in a grocery store cart seat. In the front top of the grocery store cart. While the mother was trying to put her groceries from the cart into her car. But she quickly noticed something was wrong. And she tried to get in between. Bianca Ellis and her pointy object and her son. Only to be struck by this pointy object as well. In the end. The mother of the child survived. And the young boy passed away from his injuries. But as time goes on. More and more information shows up. Of Bianca. 
showing up in odd places and doing the most. All with the verbal intent to go to jail. There is video of her going to a hotel with no money and being asked to leave. And when the police show up. All she's concerned with. Is what does she have to do to get arrested so she can go to jail. You can't make this stuff up people. You just can't. But upon her first day in court. She wore the smirk or grin of the narcissist or psychopath. Simply because she thinks her needs are all that matters. Not the life of the little boy she took. And not the mother that lost her son to this demon. Now I wouldn't be shocked if mental illness were at play here. But it's possibly. This is just how she is. Evil. You see. Some people can't wrap their heads around that someone would walk around with a sharp pointy object and corner someone and stick them with that object. All Bianca needed was a mask and the creepy Michael Myers music behind her as she walked around a grocery store. And though I get why the woman that was stabbed didn't see Bianca. Because Bianca was behind her. But I'm confused as to what other people were thinking. As she was walking around for a good little bit with this long pointy object in her hand before she chose to take someone's life. And while she walked around. No one said or did anything. And I think if someone did see her. They might have been in so much shock. They convinced themselves they didn't see it. Or the way society is going. Maybe it's possible they didn't care and they didn't want to get involved. Either way. Bianca walked around that grocery store like she was Michael Myers or Jason from Friday the 13th likely because she had a voice inside of her telling her to do what she did. Also she could go to jail on purpose. There's a lot of video of her doing some strange stuff with and around police. And likely she's had problems her entire life. And if she is indeed evil and not crazy. She probably learned that she can do what she wants. And eventually others' lives don't matter to her anymore. She's trying to go to jail and it's not working. So maybe if she does this horrible act. Finally she will get her wish and go to jail. Hence her grin. You see the narcissist and or psychopath grin or smirk simply because it's their way of showing you the demon they have within them. And a way to show you. The victim how happy they are they did what they did to you. You see. When dealing with a screwed up person is the best way to say it. Many of us thought. Maybe I can reach them. Maybe if I just talk to them this way or that way. They will change. The one day when you are in all kinds of emotional pain because of something they have done. Their face changes. And it seems like they have a different personality inside of them for a split second. And they flash a grin. Or a smirk. Or a half smile. And when you see it. It's one of the creepiest things you will see. Because you literally feel like you are standing next to a completely different person. Not your husband or wife or your mother or father. Or your friend. But you are standing next to a demon. And this is what those powers that be don't want you to know. That evil like this is real and exists. Because if you think that evil like this is rare or random. You will continue to fall into the traps of these evil narcissists and psychopaths. And each time you fall into one of their traps. You are making them money. Because there are all kinds of things that have been put into place in society. That will drain you. Right as the narcissist or psychopath drains you. And the more individuals like Bianca Ellis pop up. The more people are being gaslit into this is just a random rare happening. The problem is these stories are now daily. So what are we to do? To know the rarity we've been sold by those that are selling it is likely wrong. That demons walk amongst us. It's interesting. There are news stories now. Talking about how the aliens are here. And how they are probably walking amongst us. And what people are picturing in their minds are some little green men. Instead of asking themselves. Maybe they are really hiding in plain sight. Maybe they are hiding in people like this demon behind me. I don't know. I could be wrong. But what if? What if? Well that's all I have for today.
We are going to talk about a lot more interesting things coming up here. Hopefully no more systems issues. God willing. Oh, and if you want to hear a nice uplifting song. That might get you through the day. Check out an old song by Journey. It's called Be Good to Yourself. It might brighten up your day. While we are on this crazy ride we call life. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.